An update coming up next on the CBS Evening News. We are on weather alert. Meteorologist Dave Aguilera back with us. And Dave, we've got more slides around the state. Oh, man, we've got a lot of rain out there. We still have the smoke out there, uh, believe it or not, too. But the rain may help. There's the smoke over the city from the tech center camera. All the air quality alerts remain intact through tomorrow for the Front Range and the other areas. But look at this at uh, the Evergreen Parkway. It's raining there, and there's a big batch of rain coming our way. There's the rain shafts you can see from the library camp. Let's point it out on the radar here. Here's the Denver Metro. A lot of outflow wind uh, gusts coming across the city, so very windy. But here's the rain we're talking about moving into Evergreen right now. There's actually now a flash flood warning for uh, the area just outside of Idaho Springs, just south of I-70, because they've had up to an inch of rain out of that, and that is moving into Jefferson County now. So we could have some flooding on our west side within the next hour or so as this big line moves through that area. Meantime, down south, we've got heavy rain southern Douglas County into Montana. Monument Hill area. There's a uh, flood advisory just south of Deckers. They've had a quarter of an inch to a half inch out of that storm, but they're blowing up there, and that's connected to a line that scooches all the way out here in Elbert County as well. Any one of these may have some heavy rain going into the next hour. Top of the show, we mentioned we have a flash flood warning for the Grand Lake area. That goes until 6:15. although the, the rain has really subsided somewhat down there. Down south over West Cliff, they've had flooding rains in West Cliff, up to an inch of rain. Actually, one to two inches of rain out of storms there going on. And in southern Fremont County, some of the burn scar areas have uh, warnings for flooding going on there as well. And that's not all. Look at the rains going all the way south of Creed here with this big monsoon flow just pushing right into Colorado. We've got high pressure over Arizona and New Mexico that moved south and opened the door for all that to come in. So tomorrow we're going to get another batch of thunderstorms coming our way. Into the night we go. All of these green areas, the Front Range, Aspen to outside of Meeker and down into the San Juans and parts of the Sangre de Cristos, mainly the burn scar areas, have a flash flood watch through 9 p.m. tonight. High today, before everything got cooking, it was hot. 93 officially at the airport and 91 downtown. So for tonight, these storms will go through the evening, it looks like. That's the map at 10 o'clock. We could still have some rain showers and thunderstorms in the Denver metro area, so we're going to keep that in the forecast, and they could still be heavy all the way into southern Colorado. We clear out in the morning tomorrow, and then we do it again in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms scattered in the mountains first, out over the eastern plains. Any one of them may have flooding rains, and if they hit a burn scar, that's where the problems exist and it could happen again tomorrow. We'll be hot again tomorrow as well. Mid to upper 90s here in the eastern plains, western slope with 70s and 80s up in the mountains. So still an isolated storm moving through tonight. Could have a pretty heavy one in the next hour move through the city. We'll be in the 60s for the overnight low. Mid 90s tomorrow, smoky sunshine early, isolated storms in the afternoon. And then 95 Friday and actually a better chance of thunderstorms on Friday. Over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we'll cool it off to near 90 degrees, but still guys scattered thunderstorms through the weekend so each and every one of those days we may have storms strong enough to create flooding if they hit in the right areas all right dave thank you mm -hmm. well for the first time in 32 years 